Well, there's been a lot of communication about everybody's heart, you know. I had a couple of people this morning that grabbed me and said, man, who, man, you just like to give us a heart attack. But I mean, I was feeling it too. Uh, you know, it's just like sometimes you just don't play well, you know. I, I, I don't think we did anything well until the second half we started to kind of create some turnovers. But, you know, you create turnovers, then you got to be able to score. And I think that was a struggle for us. We didn't convert. And I've had teams like that that have kind of gone through that. So as coaches, we're going to get back to work and make sure that we do that. But, I, you know, it's like our team never quit, you know. I mean, we had kids in there that wanted to win, you know, and I think that's the big part of it. You got to give, and you give Nichols, uh, you know, they played really well. I mean, they beat Tulane already this year and SMU, they played them down to the wire. So they got a good team and what uh, Coach Payne is doing, he did a really good job and made it, it made it a little bit more difficult to guard. And I was, I think that's what kind of hurt our offense too, is like when we're not in our defensive mode and playing our best, it's kind of, it's funny how it is. It's kind of hard for our offense to kind of get going, but it did. And, you know, it was, uh, you know, it, it, it's a fun to talk about it now. It wasn't a fun game, but, uh, you know, and this week we got a couple of exhibitions, you know, uh, timing was kind of off because of some of the things going on in the dome. So we had to kind of push some of this back and then, you know, we'll be in and then out, in and out. So we uh, had exhibitions against Xavier uh, tomorrow night. And then, uh, you know, we got uh, um, Loyola on the, the following, uh, following week. So, you know, we're kind of excited about maybe just kind of playing around with the lineup a little bit more and giving more kids an opportunity to play and see how they feel and get some experience. How does a win like that help you as far as confidence-wise going, going forward? Well, you know, I, I think for us and our players, especially when I remember sitting down toward the end and, you know, even before Brandy hit the shot, you could tell that they were fighting. But they, they never wavered, you know. Uh, I found against Kent State, we kind of maybe wavered a little bit. There was a little bit of, and so, you know, to me, that's that's the big thing, you know. So I think it helps to build confidence in one another. You know, it's like, hey, if we stick together, you know, we can finish these things off. Even though they didn't go good all game, you know, we can do that. So, yeah, I think it, br it brings, uh, we call it being connected. You know, I think our team was more connected at the end, and I think it gives them confidence to kind of move forward from, you know, all the confidence that we need to be able to win. Coach, you uh, mentioned experience. Tamia had a good amount of minutes the other evening. What does she bring to this team? Uh, she, I mean, she brings just so much. Uh, she's so athletic, uh, very smart player, uh, does, does, you know, a lot of handling and all that. She, and, man, she's a, I, I think she's a great rebounder. You know, I think that's going to be the big part if, for – Women's sports here for women's basketball here that we play small a lot. So I think our guards need to be able to rebound. I think game before Kent State, I think she had 10 rebounds, you know, so I think it's going to be important to to kind of incorporate it. And again, she's still gotten kind of getting used to it. Uh, I'm trying to keep her head up because she, she she knows she can play better. Uh, we, we, you know, we've discussed it and all that, but I, like I'm telling her, it's going to take some time to get used to playing with everybody, but all her teammates really love playing with her. And I think that's a big part of you, a point guard, a combo guard, you know, you want your teammates to want to play with you and they really do like her. What about the depth of, of your starting lineup, especially with Lene out for some time? Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of went down, you know, I mean, you're not only looking at Lene uh, and, you know, I mean, she was a starter before. Um, and you're looking at Yanaya, which is a freshman that can play in the post and stuff like that, Had that she's going to be coming back a little bit right now. You know, uh, Alicia Blanton's kind of limited on what she can play, too. Uh, so that makes it kind of kind of difficult. And then, you know, you had Mariah that had the ankle sprain before Auburn, and we tried to play her uh, this last game, and, you know, you could tell she was limping a lot. Yesterday she looked a lot better. So, you know, you have all those kids, and then we don't even talk about Asia Sam. We feel Asia Sam could be right up there in the mix too, and she's out with a, a stress fracture. So we're not sure when we'll get her back. But, uh, you know, you start putting those things in the depths really good now. It's kind of like depending on how we, who we playing and we matching up, you know, we play seven, eight, maybe nine. We were hoping to play 10 or 11. Because the, the scheduling, so an exhibition is now, how does that work out? It's coming. Usually we like to play the exhibitions before, you know, like maybe at the end of October. And then and then the way it worked out this year, you know, the conference came back and said that you, uh, 
if you didn't have the uh, D2 schools or non-D1 schools contracted, you couldn't play more than two. We usually play four, three to four. And what we had, we didn't have the contract, but we had made agreements with some of these teams. And I hated to get away from the agreement, so we had to make them exhibitions. And we had to, we couldn't move dates and all that. And, you know, with the volleyball tournament uh, and then the boxing coming in, we, we lost some of the games that we were going to, like Rice. We were supposed to play Rice. We couldn't play them again because uh, it wasn't available. So, you know, it's, it, it's a real difficult on scheduling when you – you got to start moving around things, and that's what we did. I, I don't like it, but you know, we'll use it as a you know as trying to give the opportunity to some of these kids. For Asia, I know she came from from ULM. What uh, what did you see out of her, and did you kind of recognize her playing ULM recently? Yeah. Um, you know, I think uh, what we what I see is she's a big guard. I recruited her since she's the eighth grade, and we recruited her pretty hard out of Lake Charles. She was at Lagrange uh, in the ninth grade, and you could just see so much potential on her. Big guard, strong, uh, not just athletic, but she could shoot the ball and and all that. I, when I first saw her, I thought she was a point guard, and she became a, a combo guard at ULM, and uh, really liked her and stuff like that. And uh, you know, when she decided to transfer, we, you know, we we, we you know, we were able to talk to her, bring her in and stuff. Uh, and so when we go to Costa Rica, she actually started a couple of games in Costa Rica. And they give her MVP of the, of the game, and she got one of them. She, she really – she can get to the rim. She can score. She's, she's Lene, a combo of Lene and Nubia and all those kids that we like to get into the lane and get jump shots and all that. But she's tough, too. And she's going to be like, we talk about rebounding guards. She's going to be a rebounding guard. We just, you know, we had her and then now, you know, her being out and we're not, we're not really sure how long she's going to be out for, but we are missing her right now. We, this, that would be a big part plus for her because she's new to the program and the system to be able to play right now.